In this video, we're going to look at writing equilibrium constants when you've got a solid or a liquid. And the easiest thing to remember is that they always have an effective concentration, or if you're dealing with uh, Kp, an effective pressure of one in the equilibrium constant expression. So for example, let's look at a gas-based equilibrium. So two molecules of carbon monoxide can come together and make a molecule of carbon dioxide, and they kick out an atom of carbon. So we can write two expressions for K. We can write Kc is equal to the concentration of carbon times the concentration of carbon dioxide. So those are the products over the reactants, so carbon monoxide, and we've got two of them, so that is a squared. However, because the carbon is a solid, we go ahead and we give it an effective concentration of one. So the Kc expression would just be the concentration of CO2 over the concentration of CO all squared. And again, if we wrote the same thing for Kp, it would be the partial pressure of carbon times by the partial pressure of carbon dioxide over the partial pressure of carbon monoxide squared. And again, we give this an effective pressure or an effective concentration of one. So we just simplify that to be the partial pressure of CO2 over the partial pressure of CO all squared. And remember, we measure the pressures in units of atmospheres, except we leave off the atmospheres. We just write down the pure numbers and we write down KCs in terms of moles per liter. And we just leave off the units and just write down the number. So that was solids. Now, what about pure liquids? So pure liquids, uh, they also have an effective concentration or effective pressure of one. And often the solvent, so if we're dealing with an aqueous solution, if water ever comes up, we're going to assume it's essentially a pure liquid and we're going to replace its concentration or its pressure with the number one. For example, here's an equilibrium. So we're going to look at the reaction between hydrofluoric acid and water. And uh, it generates the hydronium ion, H3O+. Plus, and it also generates the counter ion, so fluoride, F-. minus. And we can write down an equilibrium constant, Kc. Since we're not dealing with gases, it probably makes sense to write Kc expressions. And it would be the concentration of hydronium at equilibrium times by the concentration of fluoride at equilibrium over the concentration of HF at equilibrium times by the concentration of water. Now, because water is a pure liquid, it has an effective concentration of one. And because we're dividing by the number one, that really doesn't change anything at all. So I can actually just erase that out and uh, there you go. So some books actually say it a little differently. They say, well, this concentration is really big and it doesn't change much. So you should really be dividing by something like 55 and a half moles per liter. It turns out that's a nice story, but that's actually not correct. So it turns out that is not the reason why you can leave it out, even though it's a common argument. And uh, if you really want to know why, take a physical chemistry course. And we'll see that in actual fact, we should be writing these in terms of mole fractions. And solvents have a mole fraction of very close to one. And so when we have something very close to one, we're just going to say, ah, it's pretty much just one. So here's one for you to try. So can you write down the equilibrium constant uh, Kp for this reaction here? So calcium oxide reacts with carbon dioxide and it forms calcium carbonate. Can you go ahead and pause this video and write down the expression for Kp? All right, so if you've unpaused, then we know that Kp is just the partial pressure of the products over the partial pressures of the reactants. And we raise everything to the stoichiometric powers, but since all of these are the number one, then we're raising everything to the one. However, calcium carbonate is a solid, so it has an effective concentration, or effective pressure of one. Calcium oxide is a solid, has an effective concentration, or effective pressure of one. And so that means at the end of the day, the equilibrium constant is one over the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. 